We are continuing the chapter human reproduction, the accessory duct. In the session, accessory duct just I name that ducts. Now I'm going to say the function of each, each part of that duct. Okay. Portion, just to know, okay, then, then we will study the accessory glands. So here we say right testis, it received the sperm from the uh, seminiferous tubule and was efferentia, it received the sperm from the right testis. And we can see here in the epididymis, this is the first part of epididymis that is highly coiled the structure. This is the middle part of epididymis. Then it is the terminal part of epididymis. Middle part is called as corpus epididymis and the terminal portion is called epididymis. So then the sperm production can be done. The sperm which is released into this epididymis region or the sperm which is received by this epididymis region that will store the sperm for around one month. And it will attain the functional maturity in the epididymis region. Epididymis region lana that the functional maturity attained here. Now reproductive accessory duct in another just here the reti testis, vasa efferentia, epididymis, vas deferens. In the epididymis in the it will move to vas deferens region. Vast difference region, this will be the from from here this will be ejaculated out. Uh, vast difference region lana up in the cement composition, the first part of the receive other sperm in the cement composition, the first part of the receive chain of the vast difference in that. Up the number of the other sperm on the Urimadri cell matra itana mojene. No, it is see here in the epididymis there is a kind of mucus secretion. Okay, I am not reward importance of Kodakatuna and not a parayadina. Our mucus secretion when you are not a lubricant, the other part of the mochi anula property to the other one of the lamka and sperm it is mortar so it can easily move and reaches to vast difference region. In vast difference region, ejaculatory duct lake and open chain. Ejaculatory duct lake open chain in the seminal vesicle. The middle of the epididymis and vast difference they originate from the Wolfian duct in the vernal. Epididymis and vast difference it originate from the Wolfian duct in embryo stage. Other than the seminal vesicle, it, it, uh, it uh, originate from the Mullerian duct. So, if you say Mullerian duct, female accessory duct originate in the Mullerian duct. That's why we say that this seminal vesicle it is a ruminant type of, uh, it is a ruminant or underdeveloped type of the uh, uh, accessory duct of the female reproductive uh, system. Female reproductive system is fallopian tube, uterus, cervix, upper, uh, uh, two third of vagina, three portion of uh, uh, originated in the uh, uh, Mullerian duct. In the Mullerian duct, in the or, origin, that Mullerian duct is rather than express in a female and male other seminal vesicle in the express in the female. That is the uh, underdeveloped uh, structure uh, of this female reproductive tract. Uh, uh, female reproductive uh, uh, accessory duct in the female. So here, this seminal vesicle, it opens its secretion to the ejaculatory duct and through that it passes, if, uh, with that it passes to the prostate urethra region. It enters to urethra. Urethra is moon region in the urethra is moon region on the prostate urethra, on the membranous urethra, on the penile urethra. On the prostate, on the membranous, on the penile urethra. This is the urethra. The prostate urethra is the our head is the prostate gland. The prostate gland is a single gland. The prostate gland is the prostate urethra. That is the next. That is the third. 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 That is Penis region and penis region through which the urethra it passes passes that is called as penile urethra. This is the accessory duct. Now we will see the accessory glands. Accessory glands are the first one seminal vesicle. Seminal vesicle is the 
first gland which we are seeing in the male reproductive structure. Seminal vesicle, it, it will secrete around 60 to 70 percentage of seminal fluid. 60 to 70 percentage seminal fluid is secreted in the from the seminal vesicle. Within the pH, it is alkaline pH around 7.3. The pH is 7.3 and its composition if we say it contains fructose, it contains fructose. Fructose it is present in the human body only in semen. Semen is a component of fructose. That's why in rape cases if that victim has uh, undergone really, uh, if he is really uh, harassed with the, the uh, sexual harassment or something if it happen or not to check the fructose content in the female reproductive tract it show and when the fructose content in the body where a body is secreted in the it is secreted in the seminal fluid that is also from the seminal vesicle okay and fructose and it also contain fibrinogen fibrinogen is for clotting what is the clotting See, the sperm will be having the motility. Our motility is not motile. That is why strength the stamina. That is why we have a little fibrinogen protein. The fibrinogen protein is fluid in such a manner that the motility, unnecessary motility of this sperm will be prevented. The next one it is prostaglandin. That is the word is secretion prostaglandin. Prostaglandin is a hormone. Prostaglandin is a hormone. And this prostaglandin function is that will help in contracting the uterus. That is the insemination of the insemination of the sperm which will be passing through the female reproductive tract. The female reproductive tract is the it, it has to pass through the vagina, it has to pass through the cervix and it has to enter into uterus. Uterus is a wide cavity. But uterus is like a Then after that it has to pass us to fallopian tube in both directions. But in e, e, uh, direction like a e direction like a pawn and sperm, it has to reach till the level of the fallopian tube. That's why the sperm and uterus in the only way to get the uterus. The uterus is contracted straight e, e, sperm in a uh, fallopian tube like a direct in the e prostaglandin or not because the prostaglandin which is present in the semen that will contract the uterus in such a manner sperm reaches to the top of the region of uterus where it is elongating as the fallopian tube then you have to the citrate you know citron you know Proteins again, the can that change and say gives nourishment to the sperm. The can nourishment, the sperm and nourishment would get in here. But the orthic in a cardinal seminal vesicle in the secretary in the seminal fluid aggressive sixty to seventy percent in the other than the pH one seven point four seven point three and alkaline pH. It will be given to that media of the sperm. How media it consists of fructose, fructose secretary in the either the glandy than the southern show the carol of seminal vesicle in the Otherwise, it will secrete the uh, uh, fibrinogen. Fibrinogen is a clotting factor, we know. Other sperm in the motility, energetic, it will become endocrine. The prostaglandin, uterus, and contract it in the hormone. Citrate, inositol, and protein, and the sperm in the nourishment will become endocrine. Here, the prostate gland in the secretion. Prostate secretion is around 20 to 30 percentage. Around 30 percentage of the semen. It is produced from the prostate gland. That is the composition of the kainina. It consists of citrate, it consists of calcium, phosphate, citrate, and calcium, and phosphate. That is we can see in this clotting enzymes and Profibrinolysin is present. Clotting enzyme is present in it. 
എന്ത് ക്ലോട്ടിംഗ് എൻസൈം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാല് ഇതിനെ ക്ലോട്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടിട്ട് വീണ്ടും സഹായിക്കുക ഈ പറയുന്ന സെമനെ ക്ലോട്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടിട്ട് അതുപോലെ പ്രോഫിബ്രിനോലൈസിൻ ഈസ് ഓസോ പ്രസന്റ് അതായത് പ്രോസ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഗ്ലാൻഡിൽ നിന്ന് ഉള്ള പ്രോസ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഗ്ലാൻഡിൽ നിന്ന് ഉള്ള സെക്രീഷൻ റിസീവ് ചെയ്ത് കഴിയുമ്പോഴത്തേക്കും ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് റീച്ച് ഇറ്റ് ഹിയർ റൈറ്റ് ആ പ്രോസ്റ്റേറ്റ് യൂറിട്ടർ വരെ എത്തി അത് കഴിഞ്ഞ് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ദറ്റ് ഈസ് ഡ്യൂ ദറ്റ് ഈസ് ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ദ ഇജാക്കുലേഷൻ ആ സെമൻ പുറത്തേക്ക് പോകുന്ന സമയത്ത് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സ്പേം പുറത്തേക്ക് വരുന്ന സമയത്താണ് സ്പേം പുറത്തേക്ക് വന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ വെൻ ഇറ്റ് എൻറ്റേഴ്സ് ഇൻസൈഡ് ദ ഫീമെയിൽ റിപ്രൊഡക്റ്റീവ് ട്രാക്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ടു മൂവ് വെരി ഫാസ്റ്റ് അല്ലെ അപ്പൊ എന്താണ് അതിന്റെ ആ ക്ലോട്ട് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്ന സെമനൊക്കെ കുറച്ച് അഴഞ്ഞ് കുറച്ച് എന്താ പറയാ ലിക്വിഡ് ഫോമിലേക്ക് വരണം അതിനു വേണ്ടിയിട്ടാണ് ക്രോഫിബ്രിനോലൈസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു ഹോർമോൺ ഒരു എൻസൈം അത് ഇതിനകത്ത് നിന്ന് സെക്രീറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് പ്രോസ്റ്റാഗ്ലാൻഡിൽ നിന്ന് പ്രോസ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഗ്ലാൻഡിൽ നിന്ന് സെക്രീറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് പ്രോസ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഗ്ലാൻഡിൽ നിന്ന് സെക്രീറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ദീസ് ഓൾ സെക്രീഷൻസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് സെയിം ഇൻ ദ പ്രോസ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഗ്ലാൻഡ് ദറ്റ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ദ സിട്രേറ്റ് കാൽഷ്യം ഫോസ്ഫേറ്റ് ഫ്ലോട്ടിംഗ് എൻസൈംസ് ആൻഡ് പ്രോഫിബ്രിനോ ലൈസിൻ ഈസ് ഓൾസോ പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ഫ്രോം ഹിയർ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് സെക്രീഷൻ ഈസ് ഓൾസോ ആൽക്കലൈൻ സെക്രീഷൻ അതിന്റെ സെക്രീഷൻ എന്താണ് ആൽക്കലൈൻ സെക്രീഷൻ തന്നെയാണ് ഈ പറയുന്ന പ്രോസ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഗ്ലാൻഡിൽ നിന്നുള്ളത് നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഗ്ലാൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ബൾബോ യൂറിട്രൽ ഗ്ലാൻഡ് ഇനി അത് അടുത്ത ഗ്ലാൻഡ് ഏതാണ് ബൾബോ യൂറിട്രൽ ഗ്ലാൻഡ് തേർഡ് വൺ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് bulbo urethral gland it secrete the secretion which is for lubrication bulbo urethral gland parayna vera oru peru aanu corpus gland this will secrete the lubricant okay bulbo urethral gland it secrete lubricant and its ph is 7.2 ലൂബ്രിക്കേറ്റ് സെക്രീറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് ബൾബോ യൂറിത്ര ഗ്ലാൻഡിൽ നിന്ന് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് സെവൻ പോയിന്റ് ടു പി എച്ച് ഓക്കെ വെരി സ്മോൾ ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റി ഓഫ് ദിസ് വേൾഡ് ഓൺലി വിൽ ബി സെക്രീറ്റഡ് ലൂബ്രിക്കേറ്റ് ഓൺലി വിൽ ബി സെക്രീറ്റഡ് ഫ്രം ഹിയർ അപ്പൊ ഈ കോപ്പോസ് ഗ്ലാൻഡിൽ നിന്ന് സെക്രീറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ലൂബ്രിക്കന്റിന്റെ എന്താ അതിന്റെ ഒരു ഫങ്ഷൻ എന്ന് ചോദിച്ചാല് വെൻ ഇറ്റ് റീച്ചസ് ടു ദ ഫീമെയിൽ റിപ്രൊഡക്റ്റീവ് ട്രാക്ട് സി ഫീമെയിൽ റിപ്രൊഡക്റ്റീവ് ട്രാക്ട് ദറ്റ് ഈസ് വജൈന റീജൻ എസ്പെഷ്യലി ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി അസിഡിക്ക് നേച്ചർ അതെന്തിനു വേണ്ടിയിട്ടാന്ന് വെച്ചാല് വജൈനയുടെ വജൈനയുടെ ഭാഗത്തുള്ള ഇൻഫെക്ഷ്യസ് ഏജൻസിനെയൊക്കെ അകത്തി കളയാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ടാണ് ദുഡ് നോട്ട് ബി ദറ്റ് ഇസ് എ കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് ഡിഫൻസ് മെക്കാനിസം ഇൻ ദ വജൈന റീജിയൻ ആ വജൈനൽ ഓപ്പണിങ്ങിൽ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സെർവിക്കൽ റീജിയനിലൊക്കെ വന്നിട്ട് ഒരുമാതിരി അസിഡിറ്റി ആയിരിക്കും ആ അസിഡിറ്റിനെ ന്യൂട്രലൈസ് ചെയ്തില്ലെങ്കിൽ എന്താണ് സ്പേം ചത്തുപോകും ആ സ്പേം ഡീജനറേറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് പോകാതിരിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു സെക്രേഷൻ ആണ് ആൽക്കലൈൻ സെക്രേഷൻ ഫ്രം ദ ലൂബ്രിക്കൻഡ് അപ്പൊ എങ്ങനെയാന്ന് വെച്ചാല് ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ദിസ് വൺ ദിസ് ഇൻസെമിനേഷൻ ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ഇൻസെമിനേഷൻ the sperm before reaching here this corpus gland it will start secreting the lubricant for making the copulation easy upon now the lubricant which is secreted from the corpus gland that will just neutralize the acidic ph inside the vagina means like ava lubricant aadyam vannittu vagina ne clean aaki vekkana cheya then after that the semen will be ejaculated into the female reproductive tract അപ്പൊ അതിന്റെ ലൂബ്രിക്കന്റിന്റെ മേജർ ഫങ്ഷൻ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ലൂബ്രിക്കേഷൻ കൊടുക്കുക എന്നുള്ളതും അതേപോലെ തന്നെ ദ ഫീമെയിൽ റിപ്രൊഡക്റ്റീവ് ട്രാക്കിലെ അസിഡിറ്റി ന്യൂട്രലൈസ് ചെയ്ത് സ്പേമിന് അതിൽ കൂടെ ഈസി ആയിട്ട് മൂവ് ചെയ്യാൻ പാകത്തിലാക്കി ആക്കി കൊടുക്കുന്നതുമാണ് ഈ പറയുന്ന കൗപ്പേഴ്സ് ഗ്ലാൻഡിന്റെ സെക്രീഷന്റെ ഫങ്ഷൻ അതിന്റെ പി എച്ച് വന്നിട്ട് സെവൻ പോയിന്റ് ടു ആണ് കേട്ടോ ആൻഡ് വെരി ലെസ് ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റി ഓഫ് ദിസ് ലൂബ്രിക്കൻ വിൽ ബി സെക്രീറ്റഡ് ഇനി നമ്മള് ഇത് കോൺട്രാസെപ്റ്റിക് മെത്തേഡിലെ നാച്ചുറൽ കോൺട്രാസെപ്റ്റിക് മെത്തേഡ് വിഡ്രോവൽ മെത്തേഡ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് നമ്മൾ പഠിക്കും നമ്മള് നെക്സ്റ്റ് ചാപ്റ്ററിൽ പഠിക്കുന്ന ഒരു പോർഷൻ ആണ് ആ വിഡ്രോവൽ മെത്തേഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് ദാറ്റ് സേഫ് ദെർ ഇസ് എ ചാൻസ് ഓഫ് പ്രഗ്നൻസി ഇൻ ദ ഈവൻ ദോ ദി ഡു ഈ ഡു നോട്ട് ഹാവ് എനി സൈഡ് എഫക്ട്സ് എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ എന്തുകൊണ്ടാണ് ആ പ്രഗ്നൻസി ചാൻസ് വരാൻ കാരണം അതിന് കാരണം എന്താന്ന് വെച്ചാല് ഈ കമ്പോസ് ഗ്ലാൻഡിൽ നിന്ന് സെക്രീറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ആ ലൂബ്രിക്കൻഡ് വെൻ ഇറ്റ് പാസ
ejaculation we can see in each ejaculation we can see around 20 to 120 million sperms are present 20 to 120 million idile koravaanengi adayathu 20 million il thaali edana sperm inde count engi that is called as oligospermia normal sperm count nu parayna 20 million to 120 million sperms aanu Normally in the world, 20 million the third thing, if it is less than 20 million, that is lead to oligospermia. And the parayin the, that is oligospermia. If there is no sperm in the semen, so if there is no sperm production in the semen, I am going to say condition of parayin that is azospermia. What do we can see? In another condition that is teratospermia. Teratospermia is the one that is here. If the morphology of the sperm, if it is not correct, morphology of the sperm or the shape of the sperm, abnormal sperm if it is producing, that is called as teratospermia. Teratospermia is the abnormal sperm. So, the teratosperm, that is abnormal sperm, less than 20 million sperms if it is produced, that is called as oligospermia. No sperm, that is azospermia. Okay, so this is all about the accessory duct and accessory glands. Now, we have to study about the external genitalia of male reproductive structure. Male reproductive structure, the external genitalia, I mean external portion, that is nothing but penis. So, we have to study the structure of penis. Penis, it is made with a special kind of erectile tissue. Because the penis has to undergo erection before the cooperation. So, penis, it is the external genitalia of the male reproductive structure. Male reproductive structure, the external, uh, 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 male reproductive structure the external portion of the penis and okay the terminal part of the penis see this is the penis the terminal part of the penis this is called as the glans penis glans penis okay this glans penis it is covered by foreskin or pratyos glans penis it has glans penis which is covered by pratyos or For skin. And this prepuce, it has a special type of gland that is called as prepucial gland. This is the gland and a prepucial gland. This is a sebaceous gland. Okay. It is a modified sebaceous gland. This prepucial gland is secreted in sebum polter secretion that is called as smegma. This is secreted in secretion of the smegma. Okay. So here the smegma it is produced from this prepucial gland. The foreskin it is attached in the glans penis region with a special structure called as frenulum prepuce. This is the prepuce and the foreskin in the glans penis attached in the glans penis. That structure is called frenulum prepuce. This is the membrane called the structure. A foreskin in a glans penis like attach it or take on the structure on a frenulum propuse. Okay, so here it is, we know penis, it is a copulatory intromittent organ or organ of copulation. So here it consists of a long shaft that enlarges to form an expanded tip that is called as the glans penis we already said. And the body of penis, if we see, it is uh, it is made with an erectile tissue and it consists of different types of muscles. Okay, so the erectile tissue, it is this muscles, it, it, the erectile tissue which is present in the right and left portion. Whether the E or portion at all, the E portion, E portion, E, e and the erectile tissue, that is called as corpora, corpora cavernosa. In the parana parana, corpora cavernosa. Adepul 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 center region we can see, median region we can see another type of tissue that is called as 
corpora spongiosa. Corpora spongiosa, we can see in the uh, center region. This will help in the erection of the penis. Penis in the erection is a hike in the e tissues in the contraction of a relaxation. That is the muscle which is present in the present in the penis is called as crura muscle. Okay, and the penis in the case is smooth muscle. Our muscle never in the pair and a crura muscle. I'm not in your partner. Then, the penis it is an, a, a copulatory organ present in the uh, human and we can see that pen, penis it is an erect it is made with an erectile tissue penis in the terminal region it has a kind of swelling that is called as glans penis glans penis na cover it is called prepuce alengi foreskin in the foreskin alengi prepuce that is uh, that is attached to the glans penis with uh, the help of a structure called as frenulum prepuce if prepuce na in that structure alengi Foreskin and property in the, that has a gland that is propulsion gland that is modified sebaceous gland that help in secretion of uh, certain seven like secretion that is called as smegma. Okay, other than the name, penis it has uh, made with muscles that is called as crura muscle. Here we can see a long uh, structure, where a long tissue which is present in the lateral side that is called as corpora cavernosa. Corpora, these are masses of right and left corpora cavernosa and a medium corpora spongiosum is present. Okay, that is an erectile tissue. A erectile tissue in a contraction or relaxation of the penis contract you, other than a relax you Okay, and we can see there is the corpora cavernous and allow other than the glans penis in the buddha on the nickel loot of corpora cavernous it will extend till here till the glans penis uh, uh, prepuce uh, frenulum prepuce very extend you know other than you need to be for the corpora cavernous illa okay and in the center region it is completely bisected by the urethra we can see completely it is bisected by the Urethra. Now, erection of penis Erection of penis, it is purely a vascular phenomenon. It is controlled by autonomous nervous system. Erection of penis, uh, it is controlled by autonomous nervous system and it is purely vascular phenomenon. It, it, that, it occurs due to erection, it occurs due to increase in supply of blood to the penile region. A penis in the region, a penis in the region like all the uh, more supply of uh, uh, this one blood it uh, help in a, uh, erection of the penis when the erection of penis happen the crura muscles undergo relaxation that is a parasympathetic activity and the ejaculation it occurs or the vomiting of the semen it occurs that is due to sympathetic activity and again it will come back to the contraction state okay so here uh, we can see some uh, abnormalities about this uh, male reproductive structure that is uh, okay um, not abnormality there are some treatment abnormality i'm already telling you that is cryptorchidism other than azospermy oligospermy oligospermia other than teratospermia that is called treatment that is called orchiopexy orchiopexy is called cryptorchidism cryptorchidism the testes lower abdomen in the heart take a descent is a disease and a cryptorchidism or in another case by doing some surgery the testes will be taken out other for the kid killing that may lead to malignancy in the future i'm gonna change now you treatment in a parade in the parade or key of xc other than the vasectomy vast difference will be cut and tied for sterilization process that is called as vasectomy okay the erection of penis is parasympathetic activity and ejaculation of semen is sympathetic activity don't forget it this has been asked many times okay now we will see the cross section of this uh, 
this one testis nammal anatomy testis inde anatomy ana nammal padikkan povana athyavashyam korchu kaaryangal nammal arinjirikkanam ipo then after that we will study in this spermatogenesis routine so here we have studied the testicular lobules are around, uh, are around 250 and each testicular lobule contain 1 to 3 seminiferous tubules nammal varnu ini ee seminiferous tubule testicular lobule inde ullilana kaana aa seminiferous tubule inde porthu kaanuna cells il nammal parayna perana ladic cells allengil interstitial cells the ladic cells or interstitial cells ee interstitial cells inde function endha nu vecha that will secrete the male hormone testosterone or androgen testosterone inde allengi androgen inde secretion evadnaana ladic cells allengi or interstitial cells interstitial cells ne stimulate eepikkunna Interstitial cell stimulating hormone ICSH. ICSH is the same as the luteinizing hormone which is secreted from the anterior pituitary. In the function, this will secrete androgen. The androgen function is androgen or testosterone. In the function, it will stimulate spermatogenesis. This spermatogenesis is induced in the That is, sperm for production is induced in Okay. Now we can see inside the seminiferous tubule. If the seminiferous tubule is there, it will be in the seminiferous tubule. It will be in the interstitial cells and the ladic cells. In the ladic cells, it will secrete androgen according to the stimulation of luteinizing hormone or interstitial cell stimulating hormone. In the seminiferous tubule, we can see a line of cuboidal germinal epithelial cells that is spermatogonia. This is the spermatogonia. The spermatogonia is the function of that. This will undergo division for the formation of spermatozoa. Sperm formation is the spermatogonia. That is cuboidal germinal epithelial tissue. That is the elongated cells or columnar cells which is present. That is called as Sertoli cells. Sertoli cells it gives nourishment. Nourishment for the developing sperm. Developing sperm in a nourishment to put on the very function and a mullerian ductinus suppressed in the thano la very function and the mullerian ductinus suppressed in the thano in a mullerian ductin dime e parina male accessory duct developed. So mullerian ductinus suppressed in the thano the Sartoli cells in the secretion. Are they going to Sartoli cells in the secretion in the very hormone and a androgen binding protein. Androgen is produced in the part of the seminiferous tubule in the part of 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 and it, are, it will act as a blood barrier in between spermatozoa and blood. Blood barrier right active. And it will be able to get the blood to the blood. blood in the WBC, it will start acting against the spermatozoa which is newly produced. And it will be able to get the blood barrier right active. So these are the major functions of this Sertoli cells. Okay, so... In the infrastructure, we will be able to do lady cells and industrial cells. We will be able to do the seminiferous tubule. We will be able to do the seminiferous tubule in the line. We will be able to do the periphery. The cuboidal germinal epithelial tissue is the spermatogonia. We will be able to do the elongated columnar epithelial tissue. That is called as Sertoli cells. This is the function of all of these cells. So, the next section. We will study about the spermatogenesis.